Assalamualaikum and a very good day for all my beloved students. Today, we are going to learn about a very interesting subtopic for chapter 2 that is eukaryotic cell, plant cell and animal cell. Okay, and the topic teacher choose to focus in the subtopic 2.1 that is eukaryotic cell okay explain the structure of eukaryotic cell and then in order to understand the structure of eukaryotic cell we are going to use uh, our, or we are going to focus also the subtopic 2.2 okay uh, to uh, how to show the detailed structure of typical plant cell and animal cell and together state the organelles that present in both cell. Alright, let's explore. Do you know how the boy and the plant are similar to a brick wall? Yep, both of them, the plant and the boy, are made up of individual units that we call as a cell. So, what is exactly cell? So, we can say that cell as a unit of life. Or, in other words, cell is the basic building block of life or living things. Basically, the fundamental structure of a cell describes cell as a membrane-bounded unit that contains the blueprint, that is DNA, and also the jelly-like structure that is cytoplasm. So, now let's see and explore, student, what is inside the cell. Okay, so we are going to study the detailed structure of eukaryotic cell by focusing in plant and animal cell and teacher would like you to state the organelles that present. So, the unit of eukaryotic cell, they have a small structure within cells that perform particular function, what we call organelles. Teacher repeat, okay, have the small structures within cell that perform particular function what we call organelles okay students so this is the list of organelles they shall share with you that that you must should master so 10 of them number one nucleus number two rough endoplasmic reticulum number three smooth endoplasmic reticulum Number four, Golgi body, or sometimes you also can call it a Golgi apparatus. Five, mitochondria or mitochondrion, singular, ribosome. Okay, one until six. Why teacher shows in the red color? Because this is common in both plant and animal cells. Okay, after that, number seven, lysosome. Number eight, centriole, only present in uh, animal cell. Number 9, chloroplast. Number 10, vacuole. Only present in plant cell. You get it? So, teacher share the diagram shows a view of generalized animal cell. So, as what teacher mentioned just now, the number labeled show the position of each organelle in the cell. Number 1, nucleus. Number two, ribosome. Number three, Golgi apparatus. Number four, mitochondria. Number five and number six, both are endoplasmic reticulum, which number five is smooth, smooth ER, and number six is rough ER. So one until six, all common that can be found in plant and in animals and also in plant. Okay, the green color, number 7, lysosome, and number 8, centriole. So, this is only can be found or equally can be present in animal cell. Okay, clear?
So, student, from the generalized diagram of animal just now, I want to share a few upgrading new terms uh, that teacher want you to get for be familiar with. Okay, so the terms are for nucleus. There are you need to know nuclear envelope, nucleolus, chromatin. Okay, get familiar with it, right? Okay, for central centrosome is a region, another organelle peroxosome. Okay, and one of the flagella which consists from more tubules. Uh, number five is the microbili, which is the projection project, projection of plasma membrane, and also the last but not least is cytoskeleton, which have three types: okay, microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubule. Okay, so you got it. Yeah, awesome. Next, teacher, we're going to share the diagram of a view. Of a generalized plant cell, same like what teacher shows previously in animal cell. Okay, the number leveled from the diagram shows the position of each organelle in the plant cell. Okay, number one is nucleus. Number two is rough endoplasmic reticulum. Number three, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Number four, ribosome. Number five, Golgi apparatus, and number six, mitochondria. Okay, same like uh, plant animal cell just now. The red color that teacher labeled from one until six. These are the common organelles that can be found in both cell. Okay, then proceed with number seven, the purple color. Okay, the the vacuole, and number eight. Last uh, number eight is chloroplast. So these both organelle only can be found in plant cell. Okay, you got it? Congratulations. Alright, again students, from the general diagram of plant cell just now, there are also a few upgrading new terms that teacher want you to get familiar with it. So, the term are, again, same like animal cell just now. The first is nucleus, which you, uh, you need to know nuclear envelope, nucleolus, chromatin, okay, same, peroxisome, cytoskeleton, okay, consists of microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules, okay, wall of adjacent cell, and the most inter, uh, important structure that known as plasmodesmata, okay, it's a cytoplasmic channel through cell wall, you get it? Okay, yeah, awesome. Congratulations. Alright, students. Okay, before we, we end our lesson today, let's try one question to test your understanding. Okay, figure 1 shows cell A and cell B. Okay, when you refer to the diagram that shows cell A and cell B, so the question asks you, name each type of cell and give your reason. Okay, now let's see. From figure from cell A and cell B, which one do you think is animal cell and plant cell? Okay, now let's see the answer. Right, so cell A definitely is animal cell. So what is, what is the reason why cell A is animal cell? Because when you refer to the diagram, obviously cell A there is no central but no large central vacuole. Okay. Or another way to answer it, there is no cell wall. Or another reason, there is no chloroplast. Okay. Or obviously you can see cell A, there they have microbilus. Okay, that is for cell A, animal cell. For cell, cell B, it shows it is a plant cell. Okay, give reason why? Because cell B have large central vacuole okay or you can also can uh, give another reason okay instead of central vacuole you also can mention have tonoplast right cell b also shows or have cell wall or another reason cell b shows chloroplast get it
Alright, my dear students, that's all for our lesson today. Stay tuned with me, Sifu Aiza, for our next lesson. Thank you very much to all my awesome students. See you in our next lesson. Bye!